Yes, the 100 Thieves loving, Sonic Maniac, Germaclone, and Mentally Unwell streamer Connor Eats Pants is the streamer for every single type of person. And in this video, I will explain to you the reason for that. Connor Eats Pants is definitely the ultimate blue collar streamer. But also, before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, it's my inspiration, all right? I love doing this. So, uh, you showing support gives me, gives me fuel, so thank you. Uh, thank you for doing that. And make sure to like, make sure to like the video as well. Uh, there is no way on the planet that I cannot mention the Connery's Pants community <laughs> because they are here. Well, let's just say they're there. They're a wild bunch of people, all right? Connor is a very gay and mentally insane community, but that's cool because they are cool. And they are also very integral. I feel like Connor wouldn't be as interesting or as funny as Woody as he is without his chat and his community because he bounces off them and his chat bounces off of Connor. So it works. Um, I will admit, though, the K-Connor stuff and the, <laughs> the, the Vax jokes and the COVID jokes could be kind of kind of hard maybe to get into for some people. Um, that watch Connor, especially if you're like an entry level viewer, it wouldn't be the most beginner friendly, especially if it's your first Twitch stream, probably. But even though those those happen, okay, it's not as bad as his uh, funny bad kids that are in his Reddit, which is why he just doesn't go to his Reddit anymore. It's basically dead at this point. Uh, as well as the dream stands, but they they they've kind of died down. They're kind of like dead. They don't they don't really involve themselves with Connor. Every every blue moon kind of. So we we don't worry about those people anymore. Now Connor, he can't be the everyman without turmoil, and he wouldn't be a blue collar streamer if he wasn't a hard working patriot with scars on his on his back on his face and all over his body. Best believe, because Connor Eats Pants takes a lot of shit from crafters, but it has mostly died down because Minecraft content has kind of like mellowed out and the Minecrafters have not really been as active as they were on social media or maybe they just moved somewhere else. Connor has said before that he gets the worst deal of being associated with Minecraft because he's kind of in the middle of it and he doesn't really do minecraft so he just kind of gets the, the rough end of the stick he doesn't get any of the viewers he doesn't get any of the you know insane amount of money that like they get but it's all cool he, he doesn't care connor's he's, he's a great guy <clears throat> but a major controversy from last year was the time when connor tweeted this <laughs> now we all miss We've been there before. We've all made a joke that just did not hit. But honestly, the bad tweet really was this one, the, the Tommy tweet. This one without context. You looking at this, this is probably crazy. Even though most of the people that probably see this video are Connery Spencer's, so you will get it, you'll understand it. But without context, if you weren't, this is kind of this is kind of bad. But uh this did greatly affect Connor. Uh it also altered his like outlook and philosophy on streaming as a whole and how he views his audience in chat and how he like views people and it kind of was blown out of proportion and it was unnecessary entirely for this controversy to ever happen but connor grew from it because connor has that bounce back because he's that he's that boy he's that blue collar streamer he'll always come back always inconsistent but consistent sometimes i, I don't know connor is a very odd type of streamer but that's okay, because at least he's not full of Connor. Connor Experience is one of a kind creator, and while I only joined in late around like the SP Live era, near the end of it, uh, I went back and I saw his start. And I saw young Connor, young, <laughs> lame, cringe, 2014 teenager Connor. And, and that was honestly pretty inspirational. Uh, I, I definitely recommend if you're a Connor Experience fan and you're a fellow like small creator, someone like my, myself. Um, go back and watch those videos, or any creator, just go back and watch their old stuff. It's, it's kind of inspired to see them start at such a small level and then rise. And it, especially with, with someone like Hunter, because he was a teenager. This, this is all he did. He was a shut-in. He was shy. It, it, so it makes sense. 
this is this is what he did, and this is it. You can see that perpetual rise. It's, it's pretty inspiring. Connor is a streamer for one, not just for just for one person. He's for everybody. All right, Connor. He welcomes all type of chatters from anywhere across the world or any background, anything. It doesn't matter. Connor is a great streamer. Okay, and I love him, um, and I hope he continues to continue to be a blue collar gamer to the end of end, end of his life. All right. I want to see him Twitch stream when I'm like 45. Maybe, maybe I'll be there. But honestly, I just made this video because I bought his Dream SP priced ass hoodie, which was. <laughs> it was a uh, 654 hoodie, but uh, it's not the, not the worst overpriced thing I bought. Um, I, that, I don't want to get into that one. That was pretty bad. And also, while he was at a Mr. Beast tournament, uh, as you can see right here, he liked my tweet. I, that was the first time that it ever happened. Carter liked my tweet. He liked my joke. So I, I had a good one. I didn't miss. Let's go. Connor, Connor likes my tweet. So major W for me. And honestly, thank you for sticking to the end of this stupid video. I don't know why I made it. I just kind of felt inspired to. I was just watching Connor one day and I, I was thinking about it. And I couldn't, I couldn't get him out of my head. Just made this short little video. Hold you guys over. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. I will catch you guys uh, another time. See you.